Hello there and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lacey Bones and uh, it's Monday, a new week, starting it off hopefully really good. <laughs> Last episode, it was not good at all. Uh, a lot of technical problems and it was just not, not, not my day, not my day. A lot of mistakes were made during battle. Uh, but hey, we at least we what could have been a very, 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 very bad day turned out to be just a kind of a little bad day. Oh, oh, oh! I like this. I like that a lot too. Uh, I like this most of all. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, one-handed axe. All the things are good things. <gasps> Narrator. As you pick up the ring, you feel a cold, dark pain shoot up your arm. Your mind itches. Oh, not my mind! You don't hear, but feel a whisper in your ear. It tells you to slip the ring on to your finger. And should I do that? Should I do that? Hmm. Let's see. Two intelligence, two constitution. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Unique. Ah, oh, man. This, mm. Nope. We're gonna give it to someone who does not have. Oh, you have. You can use it. Constitution. Doesn't really need intelligence. I could give it to Loche. She could use the da, 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 all the stuff, intelligence and constitution. Band of Bracchus. Call to the touch. This ornate ring once belonged to Bracchus Rex. Within the band is inscribed the name Cassandra, the soul forged twin. He turned into an undead lich to prolong his power. Uh oh. Indistinct, malevolent whispers issue from the stone. This is a really bad idea, but uh, Losh is like, it looks nice. Uh oh. The ring just got tighter. A lot tighter. Oh no. Losh, don't you die on me? <laughs> hmm. Who needs a ring? Everybody's got a ring. You don't have a ring. Let's give him a ring. <gasps> uh, I, I, I love you. What? What? N nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Max. I should. Uh, no, no. We'll do that. But what if I get into a battle and I need stronger weapons? No. Oh, ooh, air though. That's <laughs> pretty nice. Wits. This? Ooh, but, uh, physical. Oh, wait, no. Physical armor. Uh, oh, air resistance. Taking it. Mm, and the rest can can be sold or something. I don't know. Oh, interesting thing also happened uh, during the weekend. Uh, Laren, Laren Studios? Lauren? Larian Studios, the developers of this here game you are watching right now, uh, are lo is looking for a... Uh, Te game testers in uh, select some select cities that I do not live in, so I cannot do it. And so I retweeted their uh, their tweet, and uh, <gasps> they liked it. They liked my tweet. It was nice. I like it. That was cool. So yeah, that was cool. They uh, they saw my tweet, retweet, which is nice. Anyway, just throwing that out there. That doesn't happen to me. I guess we're going this way. Are there any bods? Any sweet bods to loot? No, there are not. Perfect. Hmm. I don't see anything. Wait a minute. Oh, there's no uh, thing. Okay. Anybody else see anything useful? I do not. So far, so good. No technical different characters. It's fantastic. And that episode, I thought the game was going to crash. 
And uh, I was like, oh, I don't care, I'm just gonna be mad. Otherwise, I probably would have just like faked it. <laughs> and be like, oh, this, I never experienced this before. Ho oh, ho, everything's on fire. <laughs> but uh, it didn't crash, so I was like, ah, oh, well, I'm not gonna do it again, so let's upload it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's bad. This is bad news. There's a thing right there. I sold jar. <gasps> soul jars. Oh my gosh, I need the soul jars. Oh, gold. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I think I want to live here forever. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so scared though. We're going to get ambushed. Is that the last we've seen of Trump? Tr Trump? Wait, what was this? Trump doy? Trump doy? Uh, animated soldier. And there's a cool wand. Oh! I gotta touch everything. Oh no. The jar on the plinth before you seems ancient, but is in surprisingly good condition. It's covered in it pictograms that you can't understand but you're sure you just saw one of them move place your hand upon the jar leave the jar alone <sighs> he's a wise old man he knows things he's not that smart but he's very he's very wizened so uh, but he, I'm too curious for my own good no uh Pictograms spin to life, and you're dragged into a dream. You see the lizards of ancient empire turning their backs on you, casting you out into the wilderness. As you roam, the human apes turn away from you, all but one. One smiles, one opens his arms, one says he'll take you home, Bracchus Rex. <gasps> he promises power for a price. He picks off your golden scales, one by one, stripping you down to the bone. He promised you a crown, but all you got were shackles. <laughs> you, try to f you try to fight to reclaim what's yours, but a woman takes you by the hand and leads you to a tower. He promised he'd take, you take me home. You cry. Oh. You are home. <gasps> She smiles as she seals the door. This is where you belong. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, your hand drops away from the soul jar, your skin prickling. In the back of your mind, you hear a small, scared voice whimper before fading to nothing. Oh. Whimpering before fading to ah. nothing. Slip the jar into your backpack. Take the soul's jar and smash it to pieces. Remove the lid from the jar and absorb the soul inside. Leave the jar alone. I would not know this. I can remove the lid and absorb the soul. Nope, he would not know that. Who would know that? I would. No one would know that. Like, if they remove the lid, they would absorb the soul. Maybe, like, release it. Like this. But, uh, we, uh, actually promised somebody that we'd take some of these. Let's do it. Thank you. I guess we talked to... Oh. Oh, she's still being affected by the ring? Um. Cursed. Oh, no. What's that mean? What's that do? What? Is there a thing? <gasps> oh. Uh, uh, wait. This. And then this. And then examine. Permanent cursed. Oh! Permanent. Um. That was. That was really bad. <laughs> that was really bad? Oh no! I can't remove it, can I? Oh, I can! So, Larish, are you not cursed anymore? Oh no, so she's cursed forever. 
Ah, uh, crud. Looks like we're gonna need a new party member. <laughs> dang. Okay, well, dang. Wait, can you cure curses with this thing? Did it did do heals target uh, uh, no no curse. Wait, no, no, no curse. Does this cure curse? It doesn't! Oh no! Fine! Oops. We're just gonna raid everything then. Gold pile. Oh yes! Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. <gasps> Another one! The soul jar stands on its Oh, this is the same stuff, huh? Uh, rather feel Oh wait, wait, it's different. You see, or rather feel a far off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pie needles brush your cheeks and in your arms you can feel a weight. A body dead. But you have hope. 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 <sighs> your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not wiser. What? How can I be older? <laughs> you march at the head of a shambling host. The enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. The scene twists again. Now Bracchus stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in tre treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You're sealed away in a tower. Your screams fill the darkness. <gasps> you feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar as you try to claim Calm your ragged breath breathing. Mm. I'm going to take this. Yes, thank you. Oh, right, we should talk to them, right? Uh, you're cursed, so we're not going to talk to you. Excuse me. The narrator, the necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. I'd forgive this soul. Punishment must fit the crime. Doesn't this doesn't? Hmm. The memories of a necromancer. What could be more vile? Anyone who makes, who marches at the hand. Oh, dang it! I can, I can never breed her. Anyone who marches at the head of an undead host deserves whatever punishment they get. <gasps> Continue. Oh, one must wonder how many more lives they took. How much misery. The scum cursed. Uh, it takes bravery to try and strike down an evil king, perhaps especially one you once supported. I think it takes bravery. We took the gold, right? Yes, we did. This one has to be uh, booby trapped. So. Let's look at this treasure. No traps, no traps. Good. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh no! Drop door. You, you made it all this way. Agree. Oh, it's her. Dial. Okay. Agree that you did. But it's no thanks to him. Ask him why he was so intent on keeping you out. Tell him that now you're here, you'll take your ven revenge. Revenge. Hmm. I think she would ask this. Hmm. Wait. Ask him why he said it. Why are you so intent? Hmm. Tears roll down his cheeks in steady streams. <gasps> Old man lazy bones. I have a tear for you too. I'm cursed, cursed, you know. Bloody Bracchus bound to be here to protect his vault. But he has my soul in that jaw just there. I can't leave without it. He's a zombie. Nah, I'll stay with that voice. As long as the jaw stays unbroken, I can never truly die. Oh, ask what he did to earn such a punishment. Offer to help him. Tell him he's an insufferable rat of a man and deserves his fate. Oh, uh, what? What did you do to 
earn this punishment? I don't, I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. His, his favor was, favor was intoxicating. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. Offer to help him and tell him he's... I'll help him. We'll, we'll, we'll help you. Really? You? You would? He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands. Head hanging. Thank you. And... Was it this... Soldier? Um, let me get this. Oh. Uh, this... I don't know which one he was talking about. Is it this one? Or what did it say? Ah, illusionist soul jar. Tarnished soul jar. Sparkling soul jar. What's this? Uh. <gasps> oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look, look, at, look at that wand. It hums with inner sauce. Yes. Oh, oh. So, we finally found a real purging wand. Yes. Source vampirism, number of uses, four. Oh, no. Four, huh? Interesting. Uh, this jar glitters and glows from within. You think you can make out the distant sound of laughter. Lay your hand upon the jar. With a jerk, your mind is pulled to a scene in a tavern. You see a dwarf in the center of the room, joking as all around roar with laughter. All bar the zombies. All bar the zombies, who are slavishly serving food and drink. The door opens and a tall, beautiful woman stalks into the room. She flank she's flanked by heavily armed guards. You can't make out her words, but she... But see the fear in the dwarf's eyes. The dwarf mutters a word, and the undead lurch toward the intruder, but are cut down like wheat. The dwarf tries to run, pushing her friends into the woman's path, but is grabbed before she can escape. As she's dragged away to a tower, you hear her cursing Brachus Rex and his whore. Even when she's thrown inside the door sealed, you can still hear her shouts. You pull your hand away from the jar, your head swimming. You can feel the dwarves' cold terror still twisting in your gut. Slip the jar into your backpack. Um, I'll take the jar. Oh man, I don't know which one is. I think this is uh, Trump, Trump Doy. He does illusionist stuff. No! Ah! I should have talked to them first. Narrator. The jar before you may have looked opulent once, but no longer. Now it's covered in grime. It's paint chipped away. And it's jewels long stolen. Who would take just the jewels and not any of that sweet gold? Maybe they thought I was trapped. I don't know. The soul jar rocks slightly. Light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. Mm. Reach out and rest your hand against the jar. As soon as your skin touches the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, and decadent lechery. But underneath it all lies bone and blood. The vision shifts. You see burning villages slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand, standing amongst it all. She throws her head back and laughter echoes in your skull. The shadow falls across her and you see a large, weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Brachus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep, longing sadness in your soul. It 
Is it regret? Or just sadness for a life that used to be? Back, back! Alright, guys. The terrible vision fades. Gritania used the pain and death of others for her pleasure. She should be damned until the end of time. While she lived a selfish life, she seems to have repented. She should be forgiven. Whatever a person, whatever a person may have done in life, they have, they can always be redeemed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Her life was marred by debauchery, greed, and violence. One last minute conversation should excuse that. However her life began, it ended well. No one should be damned because of their youth. Yes, I'm, I am definitely uh, someone that should not be blamed for my youth. I, I did some things. Too many things. I cannot speak. Uh, oh, this is uh, the guy. Narrator, the jar before you glows with blue light. It appears... It, its appearance flickers and changes. It is at once a brightly colored motley and then a deep gray. Motley? Crew? <laughs> you hear a roaring laughter and shouts, then the hush of silence. You think you can hear quiet, choking sobs from within. With a jerk, your mind is pulled to a beautiful palace court. It's filled with cheers, but you can almost taste the fear in the room. <gasps> you see a jester prance in the court. The casts illusions. He casts illusions, playing to his master's cruelty by picking on the weakest in the room. He lives for the laughter and applause. The scene spins a new face, a new fool to make his master laugh. Don't worry, he. He's told, you'll always have your place. The door closes and you see the illusionist in the dark of this dungeon. He's alone, surrounded by gold and dead, deathly silence. Your hand falls from the jar, your skin prickling and cold after the vision. To die down here would be a terrible. To die down here would be a terrible. To live down here for eternity, you shudder at the thought. Yeah, it, it would suck. So he wants me to break this, huh? Take the jar and smash it to pieces. Bring this on the side. I think we have enough jars, and uh, I should release them. Oh, this better not bite me in the, you know, the keister. <laughs> Oh, this, and then this, and then... Uh, oh, we completed it! Haha! -ha. I have destroyed Trump Toy's... Trump Toy's soul jar. He should be at peace now. Good, good. He was a good friend. Yes. That's fantastic. Call to arms, what's this? Yes. I found a purging wand. This should be able to defeat the Shriekers that block the escape route from the island. Uh, oh, what is this about? The Cursed Ring. I felt the jolt of an- Oh, this should be Loesh, but oh, we'll read it in old, in old man, please. I felt the jolt of energy when I picked up Trump Doy's ring. It wants me to put it on. And we did. Well, Loesh did, but did. Dang it! So then, no dialogue? Yeah, no dialogue. I need to talk to them, all of them, eventually. About stuff. About the feelings. About things. Ah, this, this episode was definitely about the uh, story, for sure. Very interesting to learn about uh, Trump Doy. What is this? Shrine of the Seven, huh? Narrator. The deity's head and hands are missing, severed as if by a sword. 
You can't tell if this was meant to be symbolic somehow, or a mere act of vandalism. There, there's something strange about the statue. Look it over with great care. Oh, a strange statue. As you take in its chiseled details, you a have a vision. You have a vision! <laughs> you have a vision! Okay, the statue comes to life and embraces you awkwardly with its broken arms. Unable to resist, you're flown away into an endless dark. Oh no. And. Oh crap! That shrine seems to have brought me here. Oh, that shrine's. What is this place? Damn it! All I wanted to do was. Oh, look at her dang stuff. Bless? Oh. Now what the heck? I'm a grumpy old man now, I don't like this. Alright, fine. Let's figure out what the deal is. Map! Oh, this is a big map. A really big map. Where's everybody? Oh, I can go back. Oh! Uh-huh. We're gonna open this, right? That's the, the, yep, I knew it. Fantastic. So, spirit vision, the character can see spirits. Oh, I can see spirits! Ah, no, not again. <laughs> Last time I could see spirits, I was on a, a, a psychedelic journey. Crap. Well, oh, there's a green thing. The mini map. Oh, spirit. Ra. Frolic. I. Okay. Let's go talk to the guy. Figure out what the heck we're doing here. First of all, let's just check out to see if there's any treasure. <laughs> I cannot resist the treasure. What was that? Oh, I thought this was a thing. This is a nice area, though. Uh-oh. Oh! That's cool. Should I bring the rest of the party here? Or should old man Lazy Bones do this on his own? Well, I don't know. But, uh, we'll find out what, uh, what lies ahead on the next episode. Because this one's done. <laughs> We're done. Not a lot of action, a lot of story was uh, explored in this episode, which is great. Uh, we got, oh yes, we have the purging wand. Ooh, we can go to the Shriekers. Maybe in the next episode, I have no idea how long this little quest is going to last. So, yeah, we'll see in the next episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, Divinity, Original Sin 2, I am Lazybones, and... Uh, Take care of yourselves. It's going to be a long week. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. And uh, have many, many good ones. Um, oh, if any of you guys are, uh, you know, uh, have Amazon Prime, it's <laughs> Prime Day tomorrow, which is going to be great. I'm going to get a lot of stuff. And um, anyway, just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right. Bye. This is fun. Bye. <laughs>